In this tutorial, we're going to take a look on how to run and set up artificial intelligence or AI trains. First off, I'm going to pick a route. I'm choosing a relatively simple route that I've used previously. And we're going to start a scenario by using the edit button. Now this scenario already exists and I would like to have us use a clean scenario. So I'm going to pin out the left two windows. And in the top window, I want to make sure that the icon selected is for scenarios. And I'm going to choose a standard scenario marker. However, a free roam scenario would do as well. Choosing no to changing the previous one. Now I've got a completely clean slate to start from. My first task is to name this new scenario. If you don't name it, Railworks will object. We do that by hitting the left flyout window. That's done. Now head back over to the right flyout window and we're going to select the locomotive that we're going to use. As you can see, I've got lots of charges, but I'm going to use the default weathered SD40. Well, it looks like it's headed the wrong direction. Easy. We'll click on it. Hit the reverse arrow. Now we're headed in the right direction. This is going to be our artificial intelligence or AI locomotive which the computer will run. It's going to need a driver, so I selected the driver icon and then click on the locomotive and the disk showing a driver is present is over the top of the loco. Let's take a look at the route. We're going to head north. There's a passing siding. And then at the north end of this route, we've got a couple of tracks we're going to be sending our train to the right hand track we're going to use the timetable scheduler here's our engine right here zoom out and we can take a look at the route in the 2d diagram Click on the driver icon in the pull-down list, and we can rename the engine. That's the start time, and this area here is where we would click if we were going to run the engine ourselves. We are not, so we're not going to do that. Close that window, and we finished with that instruction. Now, every train needs a destination. We've clicked on the final destination icon. We click again on the icon in the drop-down list and set destination is the idea. We're going to go to the right-hand window and pick our final destination for our train. In order to select the final destination, we've got to zoom in until the labels become white in color rather than gray. I'm just clicking again over here to make sure I've got it pre-clicked. Click on the 2D icon and the name of the final destination should appear. Now we've got a driver set up and a final destination, which is enough to run an AI train. Clicking there, I am asking it to save the scenario. Once I've saved it, I click OK. Let's run it. Clicking the run icon. Now bear in mind that I'm not running this engine. This engine is being run by the computer. It's doing exactly what I told it to do. Here it is coming to the end of the route. Switching to the right hand track. And it will pull 
up to its final destination. Well, that was pretty uninteresting, and if that's all that an AI train could do, well, probably wouldn't be using them. So in our next step, we're going to modify the program. Going to the bottom of the screen, click on the globe, and that brings us back into the editing. However, we're not in scenario editing until we click this icon right here. It'll ask us if we want to lose the current session, and of course we have to in order to get back to editing. We're going to return to the timetable scheduler. What we'd like to do is add a stop along the way. This is the destination icon. It adds a destination before the final destination. And in the right hand side, we're going to have it stop on the passing siding. So far, we haven't programmed anything. We're just looking at the 2D map. Now clicking on that icon in the drop-down list, click on the destination, and we'll set the passing siding as a preliminary destination. Zero miles per hour means it will come to a complete stop, and 20 seconds is the length of the stop. This icon right here permits the train to back up if it should be necessary to get to its next destination. We can leave that connected. It's the default setting. Now you may have noticed that there's a red line now on our 2D chart, and that's the path that the AI train will be traveling along. Well, looks like we've got what we want, so let's save clicking the Save icon, confirm that we wish to save, and click OK to leave the timetable. All we need to do is click Run. Again, the computer is running the train, and this time, instead of heading straight, our AI train will head for the siding. Now remember, we set its destination to be a stop in the siding, so if we've been successful, the train will stop somewhere in the middle of this siding. And after 20 seconds, it will depart for our final destination. 